I'm at the Wedgwood factory with Gavin. Gavin's a master, and I mean real master potter. So this is coating the clay, pulling the clay up into a, a large carrot and then pushing it down. Now why again. are you doing that? Why? Well, it makes it nice and consistent. Oh, okay. Now, is this a special clay? Is it? Uh, yeah, it's very special. It's called Jasper clay. Jasper clay. And it's a 200-year-old recipe. I can show you the color. This color here. No. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is the. Is that? That's not painted on them. No, it's solid all the way through. Oh, okay. It's mixed See in that? with a clay yeah. recipe. We just throttle it like a chicken's neck. Okay. Just, just squeeze oh, it. Oh yeah, I do that all the time. It's very relaxing. I mean, it's almost meditative, right? It's very soft. Good. When we help it go there. Very nice. It's a, it's a Lipinski Wedgwood original. My name's Lindy. I'm a Jasper figure maker, and I make all the white figures that go on to the traditional Jasper wear. So what you do? Up to about 15 years ago, the job used to be piecework. So it was a case of however many figures you turned out, you got that wage based oh, okay. on that. Today, if you make by the order, if there's an order, of say 20 trays, you do the 20 trays, then you change over. So in say there is a certain amount of speed you've got to have with it because as you put the clay in the mould, the clay starts to dry. So you've only got so much time to get the figure out the mould, otherwise the, the figure will just crack. There it is! Bingo! Bingo! Mandy! Hello! Hi. Okay, so we are at the, what are we doing here? We're ornamenting. We're ornamenting. Okay, so we're going to take these, uh, looks like candle holders? Yes, okay. they are. And the application of the, the figures onto the, the piece. So I've got to get that uh, onto here. Yes. Okay, all right. And that's what we call ornamenting. What happens next to this piece? It will actually dry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's then checked and it's sponged just to make sure there's no imperfections on there and then it's goes off for firing. So how long does it dry? How long does uh, it take to maybe dry? Maybe two to three days. Oh, okay. So. This is this is a technique known as pats apart from the French, which means paste on paste. So it's painting on a dry clay pot with wet slip. Both of them being Jasper clay. And it came from France in the mid 1800s. So the French used to do this a lot. And then in 1870, the Franco-Prussian War, one of the artists fled France, came over and settled around here because of the pottery. And uh, it's been an old technique, been used since then. I'm Christine and I'm enameling. It's applying paint to a transfer. And I've got to keep the paint raised. So it's the way you mix your colour with white spirits because that dries quickly and the brush doesn't touch the plate. I've got to work on top of the colour and that's what will keep it raised. How long does it take you to do one of these plates? 17 minutes. Oh, are you kidding me? With all the colours oh and the goodness. scent as well. But you have to do that by hand. I mean, all that's done by hand. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm glad I did an okay job. I sort of redeemed myself on the uh, thistle chalice on the end there. You see, it's not too bad. She said I got a passing grade on it, so I'm feeling pretty good about myself. <laughs>